In this video, we will look at the life, work, and legacy of Oscar Michaud. He was a pioneer for African American in film production. After the Civil War, Bell and Calvin Michaud moved from Kentucky to Illinois. In 1884, Bell gave birth to their fifth child, Oscar Devereaux Michaud. Oscar grew up on their small farm. As a young man, Oscar spoke to the porter who worked on the Illinois Central Railroad. From his conversation with the porters, he learned about large cities such as Chicago and New Orleans. Years later, in 1902, after moving to Chicago and working a variety of different jobs, he found a job as a railroad porter himself. He was 18 years old. The job gave him experience traveling and interacting with many different kinds of people. In 1906, at 22 years old, Michel left his job as a porter to become a homestead farmer in Gregory, South Dakota. In the fall of 1910, Michel married Orleans McCracken, a teacher. Orleans found homesteading difficult. Their first child was stillborn, and in the spring of that year following their marriage, Orleans left Michel. That summer, drought damaged his crop. He was unable to pay his mortgage and sold his land. Two years later, Michaud's first novel was published at his own expense. The novel was entitled The Conquest, the story of a Negro pioneer. It described the life of a character named Oscar Devereaux, who grew up in a small town in Illinois, got a job as a railroad porter, and later became a homesteader in South Dakota. The commercial success of his first novel led him to write another novel titled the Forge Note, A Romance of the Darker Races. This novel was published in 1915 by the Western Book Supply Company, which had been created by Michelle. The protagonist of The Forge Note promotes and sells books. Michelle went on a tour around the United States to promote the novel. His tour included a stop in Atlanta, Georgia. The following year, he moved to Sioux City, Iowa, and published The Homesteaders. The plot of The Homesteaders incorporated stories from his previous work. For a few years during the 1910s and the early 1920s, the Lincoln Motion Picture Company produced film for African-American audience. The film was shown in churches, schools, and segregated theaters. George Johnson, a founder of the company, contacted Oscar Michaud to buy the rights to adapt Michaud's novel, The Homesteaders, into a film. Negotiation ended when Michaud demanded that he direct the film and that it be more than twice as long as any previous film produced by the company. Michaud then started his next company, the Michaud Film Company, to produce his own film adaptation of The Homesteaders. He sold shares in his company for $100 each to businessmen that he had met over the years, including farmers from South Dakota. The film was released in 1919 and was both critically and commercially successful. The Michaud Film Company, next film, Within Our Gates, tells the story of an African-American woman who raises money for a school for poor children. The movie depicts racial violence and was initially rejected by the government censorship board before later being approved. During the next several years, the Michaud Film Company continued to release successful movies with controversial stories about race. In 1920, the symbol of the unconquered told the story of a young African-American prospector who retained valuable, all-rich property despite race's attempt at intimidation and violence. In 1924, Birthright told the story of a young man who attempts to establish a school in a rural location. And in 1925, Body and Soul told the story of twin brothers 
pursuing the same woman in a small town in Georgia. The film started Paul Robeson, who became a famous actor. In 1926, having experienced much success, Michelle married Alice Russell, an actress, and they moved to Montclair, New Jersey. In 1927, Michaud's brother, Swan, resigned from the Michaud Film Company. The following year, the company was bankrupt. And in 1929, Michaud started a new film production company, naming it the Michaud Picture Company. The company first film was released the same year. The film title, The Wages of Sin, is about an African-American filmmaker who hires his younger brother to work at the film company. The younger brother then steals money from the company and causes it to go bankrupt. Michelle continued to release film over the next several years. And in 1931, The Exile was Michelle's first talkie. It plot was an adaptation of Michelle's first novel, The Conquest. And in 1938, God's Stepchildren, depicted prejudice over skin lightness. Two days after it premiered, the film was banned due to objection by the Communist League and the National Negro League. Michelle removed a controversial scene and the film resumed its theatrical run, benefiting from the publicity and the controversy. During World War II, Michelle ceased producing films and returned to writing novels. He started the book supply company and published four novels during this period. In 1948, after an eight-year hiatus from filmmaking, Michel produced and released his final film, The Betrayal. He invested his own money. The film was an adaptation of his recent novel, The Wind from Nowhere. The film was over three hours long and was the first film produced by an African-American cast to premiere on Broadway. As with many of Michelle's films, prints of his last film were lost. Michelle lost a fortune that he invested in producing his last film and then returned to selling his novel on the road. In 1951, he died of heart failure while promoting his novel in Charlotte, North Carolina. Since his death, Michelle has been recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and an award from the Director Guild of America. The Producers Guild of America created an annual award in his name and the city of Gregory, South Dakota, where he first became a homesteader, now holds the Oscar Michelle Film Festival each year. If you would like to learn more about Oscar Michelle, visit your local library. You can also visit the Clayton County Public Library website at claytonpl.org to access our catalog and to find the location and hour of our library branches. My name is Raymond Wilcox, and I thank you for watching our video.